fortunate uh, I was asked to uh, write some songs for a project that was going to be recorded in the Alamo. And uh, up until 2007, no one had ever been allowed to record anything, spoken or musical, in the Alamo. And uh, I was asked to write the title track for the uh, project, which is called Baby Crockett's Fiddle Play Zone. And, uh, we recorded everything to the period of 1836. There was a group of Texas historians and musicians along with myself. And uh, I got to wear the coonskin cap because I'm from Tennessee. And uh, title tracks, David Crockett's Fiddle Play Zone. But we recorded everything to the period of 1836. A lot of people don't realize that David Crockett was a fiddle player. And if you saw the uh, Billy Bob Thornton treatment of the Alamo movie, you saw him playing the fiddle. Well, not only did David play fiddle, there was a fellow from Scotland named John McGregor, who was one of the defenders of the Alamo. And uh, the Santa Ana had his, he carried a marching band with him. Hell, he carried everything. And I could get into a whole story about the Yellow Rose of Texas and everything, but I'm gonna hold it to here. So anyway, uh, there's a song called De Gallo, or De Gallo, which the Mexican army would always play when they were mounting a siege against any, whether it was the Alamo or wherever. And the song literally means, it's a, the Mexican death march, it literally means slit throat. So to keep from breaking down the morale of the defenders by having to listen to De Gallo, you know, all night, Crockett and McGregor would get up on the, uh, up on the walls of the Alamo, and Crockett would play his fiddle, and uh, John McGregor, of course, by the bagpipes. And uh, so we drowned out, and they would all dance. Of course, they knew imminent doom was on the way. I mean, it was a thermopylae of America, you know. 173 held off 6,000 for 13 days. And at the end of the battle, a lot of you may not know, but Jim Bowie, David Crockett, and uh, William Barrett Travis, and a lot, all, the, all the defenders of the Alamo, they were put to the sword. And they were piled up in front of the Alamo now, where it is, of course, it's still been there and they were burned to ashes so that there would be no grave marking the defenders. They just burned it, built a big funeral pyre and burned them all, you know, and, and you know, of course, uh, at the Battle of San Jacinto, a few weeks later, uh, Santa Ana got pushed into Buffalo Bayou out there and got his butt kicked in the 18-minute battle, and the battle cry was, Remember the Alamo, that's exactly right. Well, anyway, Barbara was uh, with me when we did this, and she sang background with the, you know, uh, the Texas group. And, you know, the girls don't affectionately like it, but we called them, uh, I can't remember what it was. What was it? We called them the Alamoners. <laughs> A very affectionate term, it was really good. And I just happened to have a few of those CDs with me tonight, as well as just a very few of my own, some of the songs I'm playing, and some others. But anyway, uh, Barbara probably fix you up with one of them over there. They're normally $125 a piece, but today I'm letting them go for 15 <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, getting back to the song, it's called Baby Crockett's Fiddle Play Zone, and it goes like this. We all know Davy said, be sure you're right and go ahead. And I believe he felt the same way in his songs. From the hills of Tennessee to the heart of you and me. Baby Crockett's fiddle plays on To the birds where the tears Fighting with their fear Santa and the Alamo Santa Oh, yeah. 
set on Oh, 